G'day, Andy from Single Malt. Uh, welcome to another whiskey tasting. And um, the, this month we're going to uh, taste another whiskey. And the series of exploring cask oak effect on whiskey is going to continue. So this month it's an extremely rare and interesting whiskey. Only 3,060 bottles were made uh, from whiskey aged in barrels that uh, were previously used to age Pedro Zimenez. The Pedro Zimenez finish from the Benariac distillery. So who the hell's this Pedro guy? Well, Pedro Zimenez, known as PX for simplicity, is a grape variety that's grown in the southern regions of Spain. It's harvested and then partially dried in the sun like a raisin. Um, these semi-dried grapes are then fermented to make a wine which is blended with brandy and that makes a fortified wine. So the characteristics of the wine are rich uh, chocolate and intense raisin flavours. It's a really beautiful, delicious wine. I, I love it. And it's well worth trying as a digestive if you ever get the opportunity after dinner or something. Um, so the effect of being aged in... In, uh, in these barrels does what? Well, aging whiskey in barrels generally does two things. Firstly, it takes the unpleasant flavour compounds out, such as the long chain alcohols, which makes the whiskey cleaner. Secondly, uh, the oak adds flavour by giving up the caramelised flavour compounds that, uh, that are created when the oak's actually toasted. And um, that adds flavour to the whisky from the previously aged liquor. And in this case, it's the Pedro Zimenez. So, how does it taste? Well, it's got a pretty goldeny, bronzy colour. Um, nose has uh, honey, sultanas, dark chocolate. Mmm. Honey. Papaya. A bit of eucalypt, a bit of gum tree. Dark chocolate comes through there. Um, and then that rich um, uh, raisiny flavour from the Pedro Zimenez. Look at lingers and stays there and oh, I just invite you to have another glass. It's really beautiful. Mm. Oh, it's a crackingly good whiskey. Unusual, very different. Um, look, Benriac really do explore the extremes of single malt whiskey with their finishes. And do so really successfully because uh, the base spirit is so good to begin with. Well, well done to Ben Riax. And long live the independence. Slanger!